Alex Neil, you talked about wanting a response from your players this evening. How much were you satisfied with, with what you got from them? Um, I think first half I thought we played some good stuff. I thought we had some good chances. Um, should have been more than 1-0 ahead at half time um, with the opportunities we did have. I think um, second half they went to a two up top and put the big fella on. I thought that caused us some issues. Um, and what happened is because we lost a few headers we started dropping deeper and deeper. Um, which meant we didn't have any pressure on the ball further up the pitch. I thought that we didn't work um, probably at the top end as, as hard as we did in the first half. Um, and I think that, that sort of made us sit deeper. And then I, had to, I felt I had to put our centre back on, you know, because I thought that it was causing us problems. I mean, their, their team were bigger than ours. Um, and then I thought that that certainly helped us when they came on because defensively it made us barely compete better for for headers. Um, I think the frustrating thing from our point of view is the fact that we had probably three or four real good chances to break away and our final ball was poor and we could have finished the game off. Um, and the fact that when the goal comes in it's a bit mid-tight, it's not even a header, you know, and that's really, really frustrating because um, I'd expect us to defend that better. Yeah, I think you managed one shot on target tonight as a team, that was the goal and, and that does point to a, a lack of quality, doesn't it, whether it's final ball or, or players taking a chance? Yeah, well, yeah, if you put it that way, because if you think about some of the positions we found ourselves in, we got in behind the back four quite a lot in the first half, and even second half, we had good opportunities to do that. Um, and if, obviously, that's the only shot we had on target, then that's really disappointing. Yeah. You talk about the team dropping deeper and deeper and hanging on a bit at times in the second half. Is that a, an indication of where they are mentally right now? Maybe the confidence is quite fragile? Yeah, I just think that, obviously, we're running the game at that stage, and... I think as soon as we started losing a couple of headers, then we thought, right, we need to maybe try and protect what we've got, which wasn't what we wanted to do. That wasn't the talk at half-time at all. We spoke about trying to finish the game off, try to get the next goal, try to be aggressive and keep the pressure on the tempo, which we played it in the first half up. Um, but obviously players will adjust to what's happening within the game. And the fact is, if the ball is continually bouncing about our box, we need to get bodies behind it to make sure we try and protect it. And you brought Michael McGovern back in today, first time he's played in a while, and, and he didn't let you down, did he? There was a couple of very good saves from him. I thought he was excellent. You know, I, mean, I thought he made, off memory, probably four really good saves. One he's plucked out the top corner, a couple for the headers. Um, the one Brian hits a cross goal and he sort of palms it out. So, yeah, I thought, I thought he did well. Yeah, can, you, can you talk to me about the other changes you made tonight? Some big players missing, players like Tim Closer, Wes Houlihan... John Roddy was on the bench, but how many of those changes were down to injuries and how many were down to what happened on Saturday? Um, yeah, well, I think it's sort of a bit and a bit, really. You know, I think um, Tim's struggling my back, so... Um, and then Wes, I just felt... I thought Wes looked tired at the weekend, so I just felt that bringing him down here um, wasn't going to do him any good, really. So I just, I just left Wes. Yeah, and, and people will look at it and, and see that those players were left out after a heavy defeat on Saturday. Did just clear up where, where they are with the club at the moment, whether they are completely out of your thoughts or not. No, they're, listen, they're not excited football players, so while they're at the club, they'll be, they'll be the players for the club. And, and t tonight's result, you talk about hanging on a bit in the second half, dropping deeper. It, it shows how much work there still is to be done, doesn't it? Yeah, there's, listen, there's work to be done, but equally, I would say if we... If we scored another chance in the f uh, first half, the game would have been different. You know, but um, yeah, it's, listen, it's frustrating. We've not been great on the road, and I think the second half reflected that. You know, in terms of you could see the lads getting a bit nervous and dropping deeper, and that's frustrating and disappointing to watch because I think we're better than that. Alex, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Cheers.